Good morning. Wednesday. 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 <laughs> Wednesday morning, 11 o'clock. Time for your uh, reach class. Okay, so loads of any new people. Uh, a lot of regulars. I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing today. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing some, uh, like, a, like a body pump class, kind of. Obviously, quite gentle, because uh, it's a referral program. Okay, so it's all in moderate exercise that we're going to be doing. Okay, so I'll get rid of Patrick Swayze, much as I like the song. It's not going to motivate me. Uh, plus, like I say, put whatever music on you want in the background. So, if you get into the march, then we need to get this pulse razor going. Okay, and today we're going to need the dumbbells and. Uh, we have got dumbbells, some tins, possibly some bands you can do some with. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to focus on the resistance exercises. Okay, and in the middle we're going to do some active recovery, which you're just going to be marching on the spot. Okay, so different to what we did last week when we did the, the exercises combined, giving it all this lot. With today we're going to split it again into resistance and cardiovascular, okay. well, cardio active recovery. Just a little softy. Okay, so we're into the march. Okay. So, uh, uh, and a bit of stretching, I think, as well as the, the mobility, because we're going to do a lot of resistance work today. Okay, so while you're doing your marching, guys, I want you to stretch up. Okay, keep your feet going. Okay, so remember that good base of support standing nice and tall. Bring the arms round to the rear. Okay, keep your feet going. Just lifting the arms up slightly so you're stretching out the chest. Okay. Take one arm straight up into a tricep. Keep the feet moving. Okay, so you just pull in slightly, but you can push on here. Okay. So do these seated as well, remember guys. Okay. Only short stretches at the start, not as long as the stretches that we do at the end of the workout. The stretches at the end, like I say, designed to re lengthen the muscles and get rid of the lactic acid. Stretches that we give it as part of the warm up. Okay, take it out to the front. Okay. Take it across. Okay, so see how the stretches flow from one to the other. Take it across the other side. And then we'll go to the shoulder rotations. So coming up to the front and round to the rear. So you can keep marching while you're doing these, that's great. You can do them static if you want. Uh, otherwise, uh, a bit bland, to be fair. Okay, take them round to the front. Okay, you're not looking particularly rainy, it's not looking particularly sunny. So you don't need a hat or sunglasses. Okay, take it to the side bends. So up to the middle, bending down to the opposite side. Uh, testing the Chromebooks out yesterday uh, for when the classes are going to be filmed from the studios. So they work quite well, it's a big, uh, bigger screen, uh, bigger camera, better camera. I'm going to struggle with the iPhones doing the uh, or other other smartphones, I should say. Is that they do have a tendency to blur the picture and they do have a tendency to freeze. Get back into the match. Uh, so so far the tests uh, have been a lot better. Okay, so whether that'll be from next week. I get to see some different faces. Go into the rotation, soft side, front, opposite side, okay. So we're doing well with these because we've got quite a lot to get through. Uh, and then we've just got the ankle mobiliser to do. So remember, as if you want the chair for support, 
behind you, in front or to the side, that's great. Matching. Okay, ankle mobiliser, heel, toe. So remember placing the heel on the floor and place it with the toe. Hands coming along for the ride. Really getting the dorsal and plantar flexion going, really getting the ankle moving. Okay. That's it. And that's it. Do these sat down? Perfectly fine. Okay, one more. Let's go to the opposite leg. Just added a third spin class to me Saturday morning row to now. First day back cardio, first day back. An 8.45 spin, 9.45 spin, 10.45 spin. I'm looking forward to that. <coughs> a little bit more of a match before we go into the resistance exercises. So, yeah, triple spin first morning back. I better get up early and have some porridge. Some Lucas aid. And an espresso. <laughs> okay, guys, bring it down to a stop. Okay, that's the pulse razor, getting the heart and the lungs going. Uh, we've done the warm up, uh, we've done the mobility, and we've done some quick stretching because we're going to do some resistance work today. Now we're going to follow it from, uh, we're going to go from the top down, okay? So what I want you to do is get a good base of support, okay? So feet hip width apart. Okay, and the first exercise we're going to do is going to be the upright row. So this one really works the back of the shoulders, it works the neck muscle, okay? It also works the backs of the arms. So you place them onto the thigh. If you see two, you might want to bring your knees in slightly and come from the side here. But if you're standing, feet hip width apart. From here, you're going to come up. Okay, so we'll get into it. So we're not doing anything particularly fast today. Everything's going to be nice and controlled. Okay, so you're bringing the tins from the legs up towards the top of the chest, really bringing the elbows out. So a good strengthening exercise. So really concentrate. I'm squeezing the shoulder blades together when you come up to this position here. Okay. So we're not doing reps. Uh, we'll be doing them for approximately a minute. I'm not going to stop much. Okay. Now guys, if you do want to get your cardio going, remember you can keep moving your feet or you can do the heel taps if you can work it in. Today though, we really want to work the muscles. strength in there. Okay, one more. Okay, great. So remember that little bit of active recovery in between, just pumping the muscles, but pumping the legs. So you're pumping the blood up uh, so it doesn't all pull in the legs. You've got to keep it going. I'm right, going to get some blood to the brain. Next one is going to be the front raise. Now, whether you're going to alternate you're going to do them at the same time. This is now going to work the fronts of the shoulders. Okay, so good exercise, like I say. Do we need to lift anything? Okay. Remember, you can alternate arms, or you can do the one that we like where we cross in the middle. same time. So if you're watching Neil's class this morning on the seafront, seagulls in the background, uh, we had some magpies in the back garden. <laughs> Not really the same. Not really the same. I could flood the kitchen, make it look like the sea. Same. One more. Okay, good. Really works in the front of the shoulders. Okay, just start moving the feet again. Keep the blood pumping. 
So we've done the back to the shoulders. We've done the front to the shoulders. Which leaves us with the uh, side of the shoulders. Okay, come back into that support. Going straight up to the side. So this time the tins are coming from the side of the thighs up to shoulder height. So breathing on the way down. Breathe out. So you're always breathing out on the way up with these exercises. Okay. Some of them are slightly different, depending on whether it's a push or a pull exercise. You're either breathing on the concentric or the eccentric phase. Basically, as long as you don't hold your breath, you'll be okay. Okay. Remember, you can alternate one round, so you're using the band. Crisscross. The only problem then is you might get a helicopter landing on your house or in your front garden. Which might be better just doing them at the same time. Oh, Jack Lefty. Another 80s rock. Well, pour some sugar on. the march again we're doing well now we're going to set out, uh, we're going to try a shoulder press now if for any reason you've got frozen shoulders what i want you to do is just go back to the upright row again okay but if you can we do some shoulder press then so feet hip width apart good base of support tummy in back straight chin up take them onto the top of the chest and what you're going to do is press this is one that you have to be careful <laughs> there's nothing above your head Remember guys, you can keep moving your feet if you want to do these, or you can just concentrate on the exercise. So everything today is nice and controlled, breathing out and breathing in. So really working the tops of the shoulders now. Okay. Again, you can alternate. thing with this one though is because the blood's pumping up to the arms and the arms are above shoulder height you don't want to do too many okay one more okay great Come back into the march so we're doing well so we're going to do some shrugs next uh, which is like the shoulder rotations that we do uh, as part of the mobility but we're really going to focus when we do this now on really squeezing the shoulders up towards the ears. It's a really good shrug. So the arms are slightly bent. That's it. Okay. Okay, good. From here we're gonna go into the tricep, I think. Okay. So remember if you see to doing these, just bring your knees together slightly so you get that same range of movement, but the tins will be going down the sides of the legs. So if you're standing just coming back down to the outsides of the thighs. Okay, great this one for supporting your neck. Okay. Shooks. And shooks. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, let's go back into the march. Let's get a bit of active recovery. Let me do some heel taps. If you want to do some side taps, you can. <coughs> as long as the legs are moving in between exercises, then we're still pumping the blood around the body. So remember, we said we're going to work the triceps now, which is the backs of the arms. So feet hip width apart, bending forward, sticking the bum. Okay, try and keep this curve in your back though, so you make sure you keep your head up. The tins come from the ribs and they just go out into the wrist. So don't lock out your arms. What you can do is just squeeze the muscles on the backs of the arms. Because if you lock your arms out, you'll end up getting clicky elbows. Okay. 
So we want to strengthen and support the joints. What we don't want to do is cause any pain or inflammation. We can alternate. For both at the same time. Okay. That's it. Now we don't let them knees go over them toes. Otherwise that will firm again. It will just put extra pressure on the knees. One more. Okay, good. Take it back up. Back into the march. So we work the backs of the arms. So we're going to work the fronts of the arms. Now we're going to work the bicep muscle. Okay. So remember, you can alternate while you're doing these. Keep the feet moving if you want to get a bit more cardio. What we're going to do though is we're going to get that good base of support again. Feet flat on the floor, and we're going to curl. Okay. So we're going to try and go from the outsides of the thighs, and as you come up, you're just going to turn your, your tins or your dumbbells out to the side. So it just rolls bicep muscle so it works more okay so it's thumbs up to thumbs out really that's it okay remember knees slightly bent when you're doing this okay good breathe in breathe out on the way up okay down to my last resistance band so anybody wants the last one before I go back to the leisure centre let me know yeah, I've still got DVDs still got the booklets uh, okay carry one more okay good back into the march again guys back into the march again <laughs> I'm going to do something for the forearms now, I think. So what I want you to do, good base of support again, okay? You're going to go up with your tins, so your palms are facing upwards. You're going to rotate, so palms are facing downwards. And you're going to rotate back outwards and inwards. So really strengthening the wrist muscles then. Okay. It's important, getting the ketchup bottle off, top off, cracking open. A bottle of non-alcoholic wine. Okay, so good wrist strength now. Also working the forearms as well as you rotate round. Okay, so the bicep curl that we've just done works the forearms as well as the, the tops of the fronts of the arms. And this one's rotating as well. Okay. So what we'll do now, we'll just rotate up and down. So just really working the wrist now. So we do a lot of work making sure that we stabilise the ankle joints. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to specifically do these exercises for the wrist. Don't do too many because like I say you might wake up tomorrow and you might be a bit sore in the wrist and the forearm. Okay, alternate, dip them this way, hand up. Okay, so for those of you that ride motorbikes, and there are, People that ride motorbikes that are on our program. One chap with Harley Davidson from Edigo on it. Uh, <laughs> I sat on it. I didn't drive it. I would have been straight through the new through the edge. Okay. Good. Okay, place them down. A little bit of a march. Let's have a time check. Okay, plenty of time. Plenty of time just yet. Plenty of time. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a back exercise. Oh no, chest exercise. We've got the woman chest, haven't we? So we're going to do the chest press, okay, so feet hip width apart, okay, so tins or dumbbells or the band if it's going around the back, up to chest height, downward facing palms and push out, but don't lock out the arms, okay, so breathe out, okay, keep everything in line with the chest, so we're really working the chest muscle here, we're working where it connects in with the shoulder muscles, okay, that's it, you can cross, so you're really focusing on the centre of the chest now. So almost as though we were doing a cable crossover, okay, which is brilliant for hitting the centre of the chest. Okay, you just cross one over the other. Just don't bang them together. Otherwise, you may have a bowl full of beans. Hopefully, you're not. 
paste. I'll wrap it over. I've used over the weeks, chopped tomatoes. That's the soil. I was really taking it to the edge. I had to live dangerously. Okay, I just out to the front. Okay. Okay, good. One more. Okay, fantastic. Place them down, back into the march again. Dancing to my own beat here. Remember, whatever music on you want in the background. Okay, the next one is going to be the fly. So you've got the band, hold on to the band in the middle and then come out like we've done in the past. So this one works really the shoulders, but it also really works the chest. It really opens up the ribs. So for those that have been sent over for your breathing, really, let's get into it. Really opens up the chest and the ribs. Okay, so breathe in on the way out. Breathe out on the way forward. So really concentrate on taking a deep breath in here. So you're filling your lungs. Then breathe out. Exercise this one for your breathing. Okay. So you open that rib cage, which could fully expand your diaphragm. Okay. Cool. Take it back down to the side. A little bit of a march again. So we're going to do the opposite now. So the opposite of your chest is your back. So different ways we can do them. Feet shoulder width apart, go back into that bent over position again. This time your tins or your dumbbells are coming from here, coming up to the ribs. So you're bringing the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So we're really working the middle of the back now, working the latissimus dorsi muscles. Okay, so breathing on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Okay. Okay, so I'm good for strengthening the back of this one. Work on these, help your posture. If you want to, you can actually bring it this way. Okay, so you come with a narrower grip. So you won't get that elbows out, so you won't get such a wide movement. What you will do is you'll really focus just underneath the armpits. Yeah, work the biceps a little bit more. Okay, so this one, the elbows are quite close to the side. If you do it with the overhand grip, get more movement okay. and it works more across the back but they both work so do a little bit of both if you want okay so you can even alternate and then rotate so you're working the wrist muscles again okay so they all serve a purpose okay and then come back up into a march so they all serve a purpose, these exercises. They all work different muscles or they work the, the, the muscles in a different way just by changing the grip, changing the angle. Yeah, well, I said we were going to get everything done today, all over body workout. Which means the next one is going to be the squat. Okay, so what you can do is you can cross or place them by the side and you're going to squat down. Now you're only going to 45 degrees. So you can put that chair behind you if you want, so off we go. And again, don't let the knees go over the toes. And don't lock out the legs on the way up. Okay, it's not good for the knees. Yeah, or you can cross and squat like so. Okay, whichever you feel most comfortable doing. Okay. So good for the thigh muscles, this way. It's working the thighs. It's working the hamstrings, it's working the glutes, so it's toning your bum at the same time. Squeeze your stomach in while you do it. Each time that you come up, <coughs> just give your belly a squeeze as well, just really squeeze in. Okay, so contract them stomach muscles. It's also working your core. Okay. So good exercise. Again, so it's not just working the thighs, it's working the bum, it's working the tongue. And the legs. 
go start a new class. Legs tum and bum. LBT I'll call it. No, LTB. Oh, no, my name is LBT. Legs, bums and tum. Ah! Oh. Beaten to the punch again. <sighs> also stands for legs. Lettuce, bacon and tomato, which are very possibly will have after this. Also, oh, I nearly said the name of the bread then. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay, Billy, back into the match again. Little time check, guys. Oh, superb. We're doing really well. Now, we do need to do something for the calf muscles. Okay, so remember, it's important that we strengthen them calf muscles. So we can keep these to the side for balance now. Okay, place them slightly out. And go up onto your toes and then walk back slightly onto your heels. So you're just testing that balance slightly by lifting the toes off the floor. And then you can actually go up onto the toes. Okay. So really working the, the, the calf muscles. The gastrocnemius. Okay. So good for your balance. Okay, good for when you stood, when you're walking. Getting in and out of the chair, going up and down the stairs, in and out of the car. Good for while you're driving. Okay, so really simple exercise, but really effective. Okay, you'll notice the stronger the, the leg and the calf muscles are, the stronger the thighs, the hamstrings, and the glutes, the easier you'll find them, like I say, just getting up. for a bit of extra resistance and a bit of extra balance. Okay. Another couple. Oh, really squeezing the calf muscles, rocking back onto the heels. Okay, but a little bit of a match while we have a recap. Put your tins down now, guys. Uh, so we've not really got much cardio in today, unless you've been moving your feet at the same time, but the emphasis of today's session was really to Work the muscles. Okay, so we'll have a recap while you're marching. So if you remember, we did the upright row, okay, which was working the backs of the shoulders and the triceps. We did the front raise, you keep marching, guys. We did the front raises, which are really working the fronts of the shoulders here. We did the side raise to work the sides of the deltoids up to shoulder height, okay. We did the shrugs, okay, really again working the back of the neck. We did the shoulder press to work the tops of the shoulders. Yeah. Uh, we did the triceps. Okay, we're really working on the backs of the arms. We did the bicep exercise to work the fronts of the arms and the forearms. And then we did the rotations. Okay, we did the, the wrist exercises, palms up, palms down. Yeah. Okay. We did the chest press, working the main part of the chest. Okay, we did the flies. Okay, to work where it inserts into the deltoids, the pecs, uh, the pectoral muscles, yeah. Uh, we did the bent over row with the wide grip, uh, with the downward grip and also the underhand grip. Okay, we did the squats to work the thighs, the hamstrings, the glutes, so pull the tummy in and then we did the calf raises just to finish off. Okay, so we're all over body work out there, yeah. I've also been using my jaw muscles quite a lot, as I always do, yeah. Uh, but when we go all change on to the Zoom classes again, like I say, I'll have a bigger screen, but I'll also be able to interact with everybody that's in the session, okay. A bit of stretch to finish off, so we'll take the stretch across. Uh, we'll go into the hand calf stretch as well. We haven't really done any lunges today, but we still need to stretch out the muscles at the back of the leg and the calf, because we've done the calf raises and we've done the squats. Kangaroo. Kangaroo on telly. I'm not interested. Okay. And your legs. Change your arm. Okay. That's it. So I'm just putting the arm across and just placing this behind here for support. So a little bit longer with these stretches at the end. Remember because we want to lengthen the muscles. And we want to flush the muscles by keeping the blood pumping through. Back into the hamstring. Take the arms to the rear, yeah. so lifting the arms up so you're really stretching out the chest. And then 
or change legs and if you can just lift the arms up to the front and just push forward. Okay, so we'll see how we go. Very possibly Friday will be the last class from the luxurious location that I'm in now. I'll be in a studio. <laughs> so it will look better, to be fair. Uh, guys, remember those, like I say, if you want more cardio, look at some of the other sessions that we've done that'll put on uh, aerobic curve, uh, cardio, with anything that involves cardio or aerobic curves is something that's going to get your heart and your lungs going. Anything that involves resistance uh, or dynamic strength um, is going to be strength in exercises. Okay, so you have a look at them. Like I say, I think there's about 30 odd videos on there now. Uh, they even went into the archive at the Oldman Gallery. Um, so future generations will look back and see what we were doing in 2020. Which wasn't a lot, really. Guys, I'll see you all on Friday. You take care of yourselves. Big victory for Manchester United tonight. Get us in the Champions League, I hope. Um, sorry if there's any West Ham fans out there, but I don't care. Uh, and then, yeah. I'll see you all on Friday. Cheers. Bye-bye.